California Hotel, free parking with validation. That is a Boyd gaming establishment. Mm -hmm. Their U.S. headquarters to Vegas. Wow. Koval and Harmon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did, that's right. I drove by there. Yeah. That's So that's so I know they were doing, like, pit row over there. I didn't know that that's where their headquarters are, too. Yeah, because they have, like, a huge grandstand that they built up there. Yeah, you're right, Michael. They're, they're, they're not going to go anywhere now. It's just the locals have complained so much. And then there have been lawsuits filed by some of the local business owners who have said, you know, my business has been closed. So they take the the eastbound lanes of Flamingo Road and they, they go over on a temporary bridge over uh, Koval down there just east of the Strip for the race. So those businesses that are there on Koval and Flamingo are, have been complaining and filed suit and all of that because they're not getting any of that traffic now because the traffic is just going over that little temporary bridge. I think it's like a two-lane temporary bridge. That they built there. So there's Circa there. Oh, the taxis. So aggressive. Garage Mahal there on the right. The parking garage there for the Circa. And then the Circa, of course, you take the pedestrian bridge overhead there. And then on the left here, we have the California Hotel and Casino, which is not on Fremont Street or at least the Fremont Street experience. Continue southbound here on Main Street. Fresh Mexican Grill. That sign has been up there for a long time now. Pink Box, so I, I did stop last weekend I was there, took some video and threw that up on uh, YouTube, but I was there and uh, at Pink Box. My wife loved it. There is Fremont down there. And they've got some loud music playing there too. Yeesh. I don't know which one was my favorite from the dozen that you got last weekend. They had one called Poop. I liked that one. I liked the Boo one. And it's it chocolate, obviously. <laughs> literally looked like, you know. Like the, the poo emoji. The poo emoji, yeah. They have a pink one too, they have a pink poo. Yeah, yeah. And then they had the Raiders one. All kinds of different flavors there. Was Hotel California the inspiration for the <laughs> Eagles song? I'm not sure. I'm not, I don't think I've ever heard. There's the Golden Nugget Rush Tower there. Metro PD out front. There's the, one of the big buses there. They do the tours. Saturday night, downtown Las Vegas. And I'm going to let this guy know I can't. Okay. There's the parking rate. I can't stop, but uh, $50 again here at Golden Nugget on a Saturday night. That's just wild. $50. And that's until like 8 a.m., right? So like 12 hours. What's that? Four bucks an hour to park your car there? They have, this, they have these lots too. Over here, and one there's another streamer, Praying Mantis. Oh, I missed it again. They blast fire to the music. Yeah, see, that's the problem. Yeah, that's why I have to usually put music over those on the sh on the shorts, especially. I use the YouTube music and put music over those, so I don't you know run into that issue with them. But uh, yeah, there's a late night streamer here uh, that likes to park in this parking lot over here and go over to, to uh, Fremont. The, the Fremont Street experience. Everyone calls it Fremont, but it's the it's that four block range between Las Vegas Boulevard and Main Street. And then here on the left, shout out to 7-Eleven man. Tobin, thank you so much, man. This is the downtown event center. I did not know that. They're on the right now as we pass it. Head back northbound here on Casino Center Boulevard. Right on, Bob. Yeah, it's. I, I I know the tickets are expensive. They do postcard from Earth there, and I know those are like it's like a show. It's like an hour long show that they do there, and it's like eighty bucks per person. 
So it's it's like it's really expensive. Golden nugget over here on the left called the Twinkling Lights of Downtown. Usually Tobin, this is where the we see the Las Vegas Marshals right in here who patrol city-owned property. So this is the Fremont Street experience right in front of us here. All the folks walking across in front of us. Super busy tonight. Yeah. Saturday nights are almost always the busiest. Because I we, we watched some of the live stream last night, and it was not like this. Saturdays, for whatever reason. Now, of course, the fight was on last night, too, so... And then you get the stragglers. You get those during the day and at night. And then you got the, uh, oh, the firefighters out here with their boots again, right? There's one right there collecting money. Yeah, this is, this is crowded and it's cold out. These folks are outside. Yeah, last night I thought that the fight kept a lot of folks indoors because that, that occurred at what, 9 p.m. our time by the time the Tyson fight started. go up here to Ogden and make a right. But then even after the fight was over, it was 10 at 10 p.m. and the, the crowds just didn't, not like the one we just saw now. Definitely not like a Monday or a Tuesday night, but. But then when they're, when they're pricing everything so crazy nowadays. Oh good, Michael, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've heard good things about it. And then I've heard other folks who were like, yeah, it was 80 bucks and I wish I had my money back or something, you know? And then I'm like, well, I can't afford to go, so. <laughs> Good for you, buddy. <laughs> They're like complaining about it. Respect the craft. This is Pizza Rock here. I'm a huge pizza nerd. I love pizza. My beautiful Italian wife. That goes very well hand in hand with. <laughs> This is really, really good pizza. If you're, they have a, they have a, a chain of those here in Vegas. There's one in Henderson. There's one, I think there's one out near Summerlin as well. Um, really, really good pizza. So check that out next time you're down here. And nobody pays me a dime to say these things. This is all my personal experience. I just love pizza. But you're gonna pay a premium. That's that's the one thing you have to keep in mind. It's like it's like nowadays the casinos think everyone has already won the jackpot, and so now they've come into money, fast money, Gold Spike Casino over here on our left. So they think that okay, yeah, you've got a bunch of money to spend now, but no one hit the jackpot. <laughs> it's weird. Okay, this is Las Vegas Boulevard, which of course becomes the Strip down south of the Strat. And Saturday night traffic here. There's another uh, municipal municipal parking lot over there on the left. The Ogden here, this is a residential condo that is located right here. Can you imagine those poor folks? Oops, I've got pedestrians here. Those poor folks at 2 a.m. with the music blasting. in these concrete canyons. But they've, they, they're, they are trying to clean it up a lot here downtown. It's just that it's a very slow process. And then there we go. This is another big corner, I think, here with uh, Fremont Street, the western terminus of Fremont Street here at Las Vegas Boulevard. There's Hennessy's Tavern over there with the big Guinness beer over there. We've got an El Camino, El Camino there. Have a good night, Jay. Oh, see ya, Jay. Thanks for thanks for joining us, man. We really appreciate you. And I've got music playing here, so I need to get out of here. He's got the uh, 360 degree thing over there, so uh, there goes that. Wow. <laughs> Just wanna make sure I talk over all of that. <laughs> and then over here is Evil Pie. I have bought their pies several times. Uh, my wife and I have enjoyed their pies. They are a little expensive. If they have a 20-inch pizza, and it's uh, it's about $40, $45. The wait is terrible. Yeah. The wait at night, especially on the on the weekend. That's the that's and that's when I'm there, is when I come down here on a Saturday to go try and capture some of the uh, Fremont scenes on a Saturday. 
And then right here on your right, Tobin, there he is, the praying mantis. He's not, uh, they're lit, but they're not blowing the way that they, I want them to. <laughs> here at Container Park on Fremont Street and 7th Street. Two blocks, two blocks east of the Fremont Street experience. Tobin saw the stones for $15 in the 70s nice. when he lived in Atlanta. Wow. Yeah, he grew up there. Wow. Yeah. You could see anyone you wanted back then. Yeah. For like nothing. It's wild. And I like this sign up here on the on the right. It's Western Hotel, but you see how they do with the uh, with their lights so that the lights go out on some of the letters and it says, we hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's clever. Reminds me of Hotel Coral Essex. Yes, from, from Revenge of the Nerds too. Revenge of the Nerds too. Yeah. <laughs> Llamas stay for free over here. At, that, but that's, that's one of the old signs. And there's Atomic Liquors there on our right. That is a very popular local spot. It's been here for a long time. There's another streamer here that uh, likes to go in there. They, uh, he loves the burgers in there. I like to watch the other streamers and learn where all the uh, hot spots are. Even living here, you still want to know what's going on because things change so much and so fast around here. It could be a restaurant you just went to six months ago that you really loved and you try and go back there, gone. Is Evil Pie better than Pizza Rock? Yes, in um, my opinion. But not I know, in my opinion. Yeah, Logan's. I, I think Pizza Rock is better. Yeah. I think Evil Pie is very bready. It's very doughy. Yeah. I think Pizza Rock has more variety. Yeah. I think they just taste better too. And then there's Dom DeMarco's, which I still say is the best pizza in Vegas on West Charleston, out there. Um, near Summerlin, east of the 215. There's a 7-Eleven, 7-Eleven man, 359 for regular unleaded there. Siegel Suites, this is a daily, monthly, weekly place here. South Cove apartment with another monthly, weekly, daily place. And then Desert Moon L, not Motel, because <laughs> the lights are out. Secondary finance car lot there. Yeah, so this is Fremont Street. It's just not the Fremont Street everyone's familiar with. You don't want to come past Fre uh, Container Park, in my humble opinion. Nothing against anyone that owns a business or anything there, but uh, that would not be my choice. Here at Bruce Street. Yeah, it's been it's that was a, that was very busy. Saturday nights go crazy down there at Fremont. I really wish I could stream for you guys on Saturday nights down here, but there's always so many people, already so many people doing it. Like, uh, um, Straight Outta Vegas or The Other Me. Or, uh, I know Steven, Steven comes down here, but I think he's usually, he's usually done by like 7 or 8 p.m., I believe. I'd like to do a, a late night stream, but... Uh, and then there's another one that comes here uh, up, up an hour way. They live in California, but they come here a lot. And they do some late night streams down on Fremont as well. They have very informative videos as well. They do. Yeah, they do a lot of, they, like, bounce around from hotels to hotel to hotel here. And they do a lot of, like, reviews and stuff. So if you haven't, check them out. They're really, really cool. And, and again, very genuine in person. That's what I love. It's nice when you find people like that. So this is Fremont still here. Desert Hills Motel there on the left. Vegas Unlocked was in Evil Pie the other day. Yes. Yes, that's right. I saw them. I like those two. They're another uh, great couple. They're I, fun. They are fun. And I've seen them in person quite a few times now. And they're, you know, they're really, really cool and really genuine. And so, you know, I, I go into their chat and I'm like, come on, chat, let's get these guys up to a thousand subs. Try and help them out. Because I've been there, that's for sure. Pepe's Tacos over here on the corner here at Charleston Boulevard and Fremont Street. That is... Oh, they're there right now. Wow, Michael. I didn't know that. Yeah, they drove in last night. I saw that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Cool. 
Yeah, Pepe's Tacos. That is a former IHOP, International House of Pancakes, building there that was converted. Asada Pastor Carnitas advertised on the front there. Lucky's Gaming and Spirits Casino here on the other corner. And then a mom and pop secondary finance car lot there across the way. This retains the name Fremont Street until it runs down to Sahara Avenue, at which point it then adopts the name Boulder Highway. Lots of homeless, definitely lots of homeless. We see that like all over downtown, especially. I mean, they're down on the strip too, but they have a lot of the charities that operate downtown. So the food, they give them food and that's, that's what really brings them in downtown. And then that's just, and you've seen the video, steps away from where we just were there, downtown Fremont Street. So guys, I want to thank you all so very, very much for joining us. It's a, pr a, pr a pleasure and a privilege to have been out here with you tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll save all the usual endings for the videos because you guys already know. But we really, really thank you and really, really appreciate you. It's been fun that we've had so many people on the stream. I mean, only, I think we went up to like 22 people. Yeah. But I mean, that's, we don't stream that much and that's, that's been our best stream so that's far. Definitely. It's been really fun talking to you all. Yes. And I had a great time. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, Deb. Thank you, Tobin. I'll see you soon, buddy. Well, I mean, in, in comments. <laughs> but you should try and get down here. Meet up uh, with me and Steven down on Fremont. I know that drive is brutal. But we'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care and have a great evening. Thank you. I'm like, oh, it's so small, I can't see it.